That is a Bramley Apple Smash. It's one of the drinks that the CMO of Bacardi, John Burke, may well be making as he returns back to the bar. John, why are you doing back to the bar? Why is the whole company doing it? We take uh, a day every year uh, where we close our offices and our distilleries and everybody makes their way back into the entree uh, to spend time with consumers and you know really understand what's going on, understand how our brands are being appreciated by people, what can we learn from our trade partners in the on-trade, what trends are happening. Um, so it's 7,000 people, 134 cities across the world, uh, and everybody gets out and has this kind of common experience of you know, what's, what our brands are performing like in the real world. You are a business to business category firm. Why is it important to kind of get back to the customer? It's, it's really important that we, well, first of all, this is the place where our brands are growing, where we build our brands is in the on-trade. So it's really important that we, we understand what's going on and you know, we, can, uh, we can hear firsthand what's going on. It's also a really important moment for us uh, culturally. Um, so we do this every February. It's in commemoration of Founders Day, uh, which is a big celebration that we do every year. Uh, and it's a real opportunity for us to, uh, to, to help remind ourselves that we're putting consumers at the heart of our organization. So it's to go and meet real people. Uh, it's, it's a bit like the ultimate kind of field research, really, where you know, we're out learning and sharing. Uh, we're encouraging our teams to post live on Instagram using hashtag back to the bar. Uh, and from that, we gather all sorts of learning experience and, and really pull the team together uh, and, and build the, the kind of culture of the organization. This is happening across all of your brands, but as a marketer, what are you hoping to get out of this? And what have you learned from the previous years? The, the three things I guess we've learned are, first of all, every one of our uh, team, are, no matter where you're working in the organization, you're a salesperson. You've got a story to tell about what you do to make uh, make our brands, and people are really, really interested in in the, the, the stories of the intrinsic stories of how the product is made. Um, so a lot of authenticity when you have somebody from the distillery actually going into a bar, talking to a bartender about what they devote their life to doing, which is making that product that they're serving behind the bar. It's a really powerful experience for both people. You know, this is what I make and this is how I use it. It's a really, really good. Uh, dialogue and it, it's really innocent, authentic learning for us. And then we use that uh, to help understand more about how we can improve what we're doing for meeting the needs of our consumer. You have a range of premium brands, but tastes change. Rum might be on the up one day, gin might run out of steam. How do you manage that across the business? Overall, um, you know, we're, we're working with the trade uh, extensively around uh, developing new cocktail experiences. And um, so you're right, trends do come and go, but there's always opportunities to rediscover the classics and always opportunities for us to build and innovate uh, new cocktails in, in the way they serve. Um, we find that trends in our industry move relatively slowly. Um, and so we can adapt to what's going on. Trends in cocktails move much quicker. This is, you know, uh, you can have a trend that lasts for literally a number of months and then, and then it's gone. What do you hope this will develop into? Is this just a regular thing now going back to the bar? It's, it, it's a, be an annual event that we do. It's, it's a really important pillar in our, in our culture, uh, which we summarise under three Fs of uh, fearless founders and family. Uh, we see the consumer as an extension of our family, so getting to know more people and bringing them in is a, a key experience for us. Um, founders for us really means uh, about running the business like you own it. Uh, and in that situation, seeing what really happens with the work, the output, the work you do is really important to feel that sense of ownership. You know, we exist to serve the consumer that we ultimately serve, and so getting in contact with them and building that relationship helps everybody go back to their day job and feel inspired to do better and work harder for meeting those consumer needs. And the question is, can you make a Bramley Apple Smash? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> John, thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, I'm James Wright and thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.